I'm going to start this video by finishing cleaning up the underside of the seat with the spoke shaves as promised on the last video. This is the last thing I do to these. I don't sand or anything under there. I like the facets. So I need to do a very clean job of it with the spoke shave. I put some tape on the side of the front leg and on the back of the back legs to help my marking. I've also gone ahead and marked where the tenons are going to enter each of these legs from the undercarriage. It's important in this process, the way I'm going to mark, that the location of the mortise is going to be the same si height off of the tabletop. I'm going to use the tabletop as a reference. This one's a little bit low, so I'm going to put a couple of coins underneath it. So now I know that all my mortises are at the same height off the table. Now I can use the table as a reference. I could use it this way by taking a measuring tool and measuring each individual leg and then noting the number and then setting it once again and drilling that way. I find that a little bit too much for this. So what I'm going to do is I've taken this board which has an average angle and I'm going to go ahead and mark it on each of these legs. Notice here how careful I am to make sure that that pencil is riding flat on the angled cut piece of wood. By putting the board parallel to where that center stretcher is going to go, I'm able to mark the front leg. Notice how that board goes directly between the two rear legs as I mark this front leg. That's important. Now that all three are measured there, I'm going to go ahead and parallel that axis mark that we just made to the top of the table. Using my mirror, I can see just like you can. I'm going to tap these holders just a little bit until finally that mark is parallel. Then I come back in with my angle board, and that's the same angle that we use to mark it, and it's also going to be the same angle that we use to drill it. I bring in my mirror so once again I can see, just like you can, and I start drilling straight in so I don't tear up the hole. I lean back just a little bit and go for it. I'm going to bring this forward a little bit. The smaller the gap that I see in the mirror, the easier it is for me to tell if I'm actually parallel to that angle. The other legs are mounted exactly the same way, parallel to the tabletop and then drilled and to the angle that. board. Now that all three holes are drilled, there's only one more to drill for this undercarriage, and that's between the two stretchers. It's a simple T formation, so all I have to do is drill a 90 degree angle into the stretcher that gets the mortise. So I put the stretcher into my V blocks, and you can see the axis of the stretcher itself is parallel to the tabletop because the V blocks are registered each of them up against that tabletop. Now I just need to come in with my square and once again with my mirror so I can see what I'm doing and drill it out. This is the last hole that we need to drill for this piece and after this it comes assembly. And there we have it.